Go. Pneumatic. Go. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas, powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. We had the privilege and the honor of watching Starliner arrive. It was a uh, really spectacular to see this uh, this beautiful vehicle arrive. This is a momentous day uh, in NASA's history, and and just paving the way for the future as we uh, start enabling commercial flights here in low Earth orbit, while NASA pivots to the Moon and eventually onto Mars. The journey has been hard. But the reward is what we see today as our teams work together to meet the promise of advancement offered in low Earth orbit. This connection is the first of many that will continue for years to come. No one goes to space alone, and we can all benefit from the efforts involved. Undocking complete. A little sad to see her go, but it uh, looks like a successful mission so far. Godspeed, so on. And touchdown Starliner. We're touching down in the desert of New Mexico, marking the completion of orbital flight test two. And that touchdown coming at 5.49 p.m. Central Time, almost exactly six days into the mission. Oh my. I mean, uh, we all tracked towards the, from the beginning, from launch all the way through the mission, and this is what we were hoping for at the end, right? I mean, a soft, safe landing, culmination of all the hard work. I mean, you've got to give a huge congratulations to the folks at Boeing. Well, you couldn't ask for more.